Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of this series in which I build an international airport. In this episode, I will work on the departures hall. I will build a security control area as well as the stairs that connects the departures and the arrivals hall. So let's get started. These red blocks represent the conveyor in the airport that you put your luggage, laptop and your other belongings. And these red gates represent the metal detector you pass during the security screening. I initially thought putting some red blocks here to represent the area where you organize your belongings after passing the security screening. However, they look quite ugly, so I will get rid of them. This one block hole represents the X-ray scanner that is mounted to the conveyor belt. We now have 8 separate security lines. These lines will operate for the domestic departures terminal. I mentioned this in the earlier episodes as well. I designed this airport in a way where two of the gates in the middle can be assigned to either the international or the domestic terminal depending on the traffic needs. The edge of the glass walls can be opened and closed by the staff like a door. By modifying which ones are open and which ones are closed, the gates can be adjusted to belong to the domestic or to the international terminal.
are currently one level down from the departures level. We are at the arrivals level. I am about to put the floor of the arrivals level. I have to fix some previous copy paste errors. All columns and beams must be two blocks wide. time to build the stairs. I have seen different airport designs in real life. In some, departures and arrivals were totally separated. If you have a connecting flight, you had to go through the security all over again. In some other airports, you would be able to continue your flight without security check as you were already cleared from the security in the original departures airport. This airport is a mixture of these two, here is how I envision it. If you are coming from another city in the same country, meaning you are a domestic arrival, you can continue without a security check. This is because we trust the security process of the other airport in the same country. If you are coming from another country, meaning you are an international arrival, you can only continue without security check if your connecting flight is international. If you are flying to another airport in the same country, you have to take the security screen. I might revisit this decision later. But due to this, we need the stairs uh, between different levels after the security screening area.
This is pretty much it from this episode. I will continue building in the upcoming videos as usual. Until then, I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.